Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skyrim Ordinator with Trix2, Onderon, and Lydia. Um, <clears throat> so this is a re-record of this episode. Um, I managed to fail to press the stop recording button when I, at the end of the last episode. And then recorded this episode, or thought I did. And the following episode. <clears throat> and then, uh, it managed to fail to record at least one of two of those, so... This is the- I'm re-recording re this one. Um, we're going to be talked to in a moment, so we'll lose our- all our magicka, so we'll, we'll step forward until he yaps at me and we'll back up. Children, I would be your wrongdoing, that it would only serve to strengthen me. For whatever reason, you have to use a- um, use fire magic on this next bow. Even though he's clearly a frost, even though that door is clearly requires frost magic to. Um, there we go. There's that, and the door opens. All right, so let's step into this next area. Um, is there anything interesting down here? I don't think so. Right. So anyway, <coughs> all that stuff is why there might be scary. <coughs> why there might be a uh, treasure disconnect between this uh, recording Where's and the next. Uh, Where's my lightning bolt? Because this is funnier with lightning right bolt. Me. Uh, right there, the guy. Something grabs us up. Right there, we go. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Face your edge. You. Ooh, a Drainheart sword. Excellent. Yeah, Spectral Warhound. Here's a question. <coughs> can I actually... Um, I didn't try this last time, but can I actually get a on the ground down there? Uh, it looks like I can. Excellent. <coughs> uh, dropping down there is not a good idea. You basically get... Uh, Lydia, that was kind of a terrible idea. Okay, you know what? If you guys want to go that way, you're wel more than welcome to do so. Uh, is still a right. Uh, let's go this way. They can fight it out amongst themselves. Between the two of them, they should be okay to succeed. <coughs> right. Oh, hello. Aha! The bow! Look here, you jerk. See? I can do that too. I hate drop charges. They're too strong. Uh, right. Is there anybody else coming up here? No. I think it's just the two of them here. Ooh, another Drain Heart Sword. I like the, um... Uh, ghost Weapon effect. There's in another unique weapon with the same effect. Effect. I can't remember the name of it though. And now he stopped talking to us because <coughs> he's worked out it won't do him any good. Hello! I'm out. Uh, go away. There we are. Ah, he's got the. Oh, oh he's got another green heart sword. Are, uh, right, Frogger Scourge. Ah, right, I did, um, set up Spell Twine, by the way. So, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I've got it set to three different spells. Let me, uh, magic. Or did I? Uh, well, I was supposed to have, uh, maybe it doesn't work on concentration spells. Yeah, that would then I'd need to use fast healing instead. Don't I have fast healing? I think I do. Alright, so basically what you do is this. You use fast healing. And wait for this to charge. And it should have a heal. Oh, it didn't work this time. Alright, fair enough. Um, now this time we'll use casting circle novice. Uh, this, this isn't really the best spell because 
I mean, these effects do not last for very long, but... Um, right, uh, so, yes. Let's fill twine again. And charge it, and then this one... I think we'll use flow for this one. No, you know what? Actually, I think rock would be a better option. Just in case anything decides to attack me while I'm <coughs> up. And then for this one, we want um, blood. That way, if we cast the bound sword, it will actually do bonus uh, bonus damage. Right. Um, so dead skeleton with some gold, Draugr scourge, and a troll. I don't know how the trolls have managed to get in here. Nope. You and you. Like I said, there'll probably be some uh, loot discrepancies between these episodes. Although, it's except for, I think, one or two things, it's kind of pretty minor. I think I have a helmet that may not be here. I've got your back. Uh, is this the place with the... I think so. There we go. Who's around the next corner? I'm pretty sure it's a dog. Ow. No, two can play in that game. Right. So, you had ectoplasm. You had a sword. I've got enough of those. I think that's a, a unique... Effect. I think it, the Drainheart enchantment is a unique effect to not um, usable with. Oh, uh, this room. I hate this room. Uh, right. <coughs> uh, so we can come over here and. Okay, so. I, yeah, I know I know flames. Thank you for not. Right, uh, come over here. Grab that. Ow. And die horribly. Rats! Um, okay, let's try this again, huh? Right, so there's two of those, so, so, okay, so what it is, is there's two of those gems. I've got one back. uses frost magic, the other one uses a fireball. Um, let me through. Thank you. Uh, right, here, you. Oops, goodbye. There we go. Alright, that kills him. That got you. You can just physics around for a minute. There we go. Okay. Let's close this door for a second. And we'll grab... Oh, because I think the ice shout knocked it a skew. Um, was that illusion? No, that was alt... It's alteration is the one I want. Um... Isn't it? Okay. Where's my... Yeah, you're not on the... The, uh... List for some reason. Uh... F... E... There we go. Ah! You know what? I know why. This'll all be fixed next episode. Because I did this with the... Save from before I put you in the wrong spot, but it's fine. Um, right, Torchlight's one is this sort of spell. It's a conjuration that you can just hold until you don't need it anymore. Where on earth did that spell book go? Eh, well, you know what? I got it in the actual save, so we're going to. to well, of course, I may have been shot down here. Um, Blast that. Let's grab power blink. Um, right. Uh, can I knock you off the pedal? I can. Ow. Um, right. Oh, hi. Uh. Okay. Ow. 
Oh, hello, it's managed to knock itself off the pedestal, which is hilarious. Ow. Hilarious. Oh, there's... Ah, that's why, because there were three of them up here. Which I did miss last time, so... Ow. Excuse me? Ow! Oh, now you're gonna be like that. Fine. Oh! Wrong place to be! Wrong place to teleport! Trying to use ice form. Okay. Ow! Fine. Um. I I know you guys are here. These are just basic. One basic, one restless. And they just die instantly. Right. Well, that first one worked worse than I thought, but the second one worked better. Didn't even land on land an attack on me. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some treasure here. Yeah, that wasn't an amulet of arcade last time, I don't think. Oh, uh, right. Let's see. Alright. Dead guy's here. Dead guy didn't get any hits on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking to me again. Uh, aha. Here we go. Um, oh, command lock weakened to, it would turn this into a novice lock. Um, uh, well, you know what? We're gonna use, um, and it's now a novice lock, but we're gonna use, uh, Midas to fix that. The whole unlocking door. Midas unlock. And we get the Ancient Helmet of the Unburned, or the Hat of Gopher, the Honed Ancient Nord Greatsword of Scorching, or, and an Ebony Shield, which immediately goes to Lydia. I'm right behind. Uh, tweak gear, gear, thank you. Standard outfit. Ah, and then we can take all of this stuff off and give her the Ebony Shield, which we will eventually improve uh, you don't need a staff of fireballs anymore you can literally have all the arrows that I have collected and there we go um, right I do need to summon my luggage Eat so on. that we don't get overlaid uh, that's fine uh, Nandoran and by weight by weight thank you yeah, I do like being a wizard I think I wanted that axe, actually. Uh, I like being a wizard. It means I can just dump all of the heavy weapons and gear onto the um, luggage here. Oh. The hanging Gardens is one of... Um, you, you can have that, because I don't need it. Uh, use that. Thank you. That's good enough. We're less than half weight now, so... I do also adore the ability to just teleport past an, obno an obstructionist follower. Uh, okay. Right. This one. This one I can actually... do clever cleverly. Um, if you don't mind... Excuse me. Ow. You know what? That's fine. Here, have some ice form. I love how. Ah. Okay, don't. Uh, Lydia. Less arrows, more sword. Ow. It buggers hurt. Uh, that next group's gonna be pain in the neck. We'll need to deal with that in a second. Uh, while we're here, let's get ready to conjure a flame at your neck. Yep, 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 yep. Get back. Uh, I need something with some 
some more power to it. Uh, might, might, might just meet here, might, might work, but, um... Incinerate some cash back here. Uh, right. What is our destruction skill now? I missed it while I was... <coughs> destruction 74. Sweet. Actually, one more level worth of... One more level, and we will be... Ooh, do we have any ingot? I didn't know that was here. Uh, canis root. You know what? Let's accidentally get our torchlight out. Get our accidentally misplaced torchlight. Okay, so I missed those two. Do have any ingots? I will probably come back for those. But, uh, well. Um, yeah. Balming tool. Another everything. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back for all this. Right. So let's. Uh. Right. Let's get lightning bolts on. Because uh, it's getting ready. Stay there and die with her. She refused to go on. We didn't have a choice. Right. Agreed. We all stay together. I find it interesting by the fact that at this point he's basically talking to himself, but. Uh, Okay, final chamber time. Um, let us... Not that. Uh, we want fire room on one hand. Because, welcome to the final chamber. Uh, and meet uh, Morokai. He's not a nice chap. He is, as you can tell, a dragon priest. And, as I said, that makes him not a nice chap. Um, I had so much trouble defeating him the first time. There we go, one fire rune, and you can see that these two wizards here are uh, enthralled to basically keep him from getting away. Um, there we go. These are actually the spirits of dead wizards. Um, as far as I know, it's the two um, Savosarans from uh, college mates. Um, actually, if we go over here real quick, there's a chest here that... Yeah, the helmet that I have, it, yeah, you get lesser boots of dwindling fl leather boots of dwindling flames rather than the fairly awesome helmet that I ended up with. However... On the other hand, can just freaking lightning. This is about how well the fight went the first last time I played. Although we did get an awesome kill cam on him. If I come over here, however, Ooh, more hanging moss. Oops, wrong power. Um, blink is what I was. I was trying to do a cool jump off and then teleport to the bottom. But we find the Staff of Magnus, which immediately tells us to return to Tolfnir, which is spoilers. So, really, game? You really should have just said, take the staff back. Take the staff back to the college, but what are you going to do? So we aren't quite done yet, but yeah, I'm just in the, staying in the sunlight a second. So, uh, I'm not sure which mod I have that does this, but... Basically, it makes the masks equivalent to circlets. So as soon as I equip this, we have the diadem of the savant removed, which isn't so bad. Although Morke is not really the best mask in the world. Unfortunately, it makes it interact really, really creepily with the um, tri bronze tribunal mask. So I will stick with the diadem of the savant and its ability to. Spell cost reduction. However, through here, we're not quite done yet. I'm sorry, friends. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. Well, you, you could I promise you. I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. Right. You, you know, you could have just killed him. He wasn't actually that dangerous, all things considered. Uh,. We do have one more nuisance to deal with, and we'll 
see it in, see it in a second as well. Uh, oh, one more chamber, right? Is there anything in here? No, it's empty. Um, we come up here and we're headed towards the ahem, Skyrim door, which is sort of a double a pun, actually. Hello, guy whose name I can't remember. So oh, you made Storm. it out of there alive. Ankana was right. You are dangerous. Yep. I'm afraid I'll have to take that staff from you now. Ankana wants it kept safe. This guy's oh, not very smart. And he wants you dead. I've just fought my way through this Nothing whole thing, personal. and now he's going to. Oh, and he wants you dead. So get out of the way. You fool! You don't stand a chance. No, hey. you don't. Because uh, I am the Dragonborn, and also a mighty wizard, and die. Yeah, the uh, ice form plus lightning bolts. So he, he just kind of deserved to die ignominiously. And I really didn't remember his name, even though I'd just seen him last time I played this episode. Uh, that wasn't here either. Actually, I think I missed that chest. Brilliant. Uh, so there was one more thing to do out in the, um, uh, go over here, and, uh, do want to thank you. Right, uh, this way is the way out. Out in the, um, outside world. Here in Labyrinthian. And that's actually to take on some more, f some more enemies, curiously enough. Still here. You know, it says every city in the. Oh, wait, this is actually funny. Uh, right here. Midas Meteor. And goodbye, troll. Yep. Eesh! Oh. Nuts. Right. Use the correct power. Thank you very much. Alright, so. One dead troll. One big blast. You probably could have taken him out with a. Double bolt lied, but uh, this ends up working, quick, working better. Uh, if we come over here, you'll actually see now there's two entrances. This is the lower entrance, and we're gonna go in here first because the there's, well, there's quite a few nasty enemies in, here in Lost Valkyrie, but this allows us to take on the I'm right behind one you. of the two. Oh. And then the oh, other. Okay, don't stand directly in front of the death lord. That's a bad place to be. Especially for you, Lydia. But also for me. Ah, he had an ebony battle axe this time. Last time he had an ebony greatsword. Uh, right. There's also a chest here. That we're technically still in combat because there's enemies in the upper levels, but that's fine. We're about to go around to the other entrance. I mean, there's not really any point in here. There's no nothing special or unique, I'm but right it's a hilariously um, uh, Oh, there's a troll, troll over here. Alright. Well, come here, Mr. Troll. We will happily... Come here, Mr. Troll, and we will happily murder your face off. Ah! Goodbye. Yeah, let's see how much stronger Midas Meteor is than Firebolt. I think it's a, technically an expert skill. Or an expert magic. Um, yeah, uh, expert in magnitude of 50 as compared to Firebolt's 25. Although the... As you can see, we're doing 42 points of damage with that versus this, which is 85. So it's... <coughs> Still more than doubled. Um, now was the other door up here, or yes, it's over here. All right. Well, this is a this is a bit of a nasty area because tight, cramped quarters and lots of I'm right behind um, you. Tough enemies. However, just like um, use the filtered thingies. There you go. However, just like. Labyrinthian itself, I believe you can do this. Yep. And... Uh... Oh. Well, can fire. You can actually have all the fire. There we go. Uh, 
getting through here means sprinting. There we go. Sprint through there. Lydia will teleport through. But for the moment, she's just kind of stuck. And amusingly, she can't even trigger the pressure plates to open the, the bars. Oh, you're alive! Not for long. Ah! That was hilarious. Oh, mantle of the silver hand. Interesting. Did not see that last time either. May not have actually been there, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. So... This needs to be... Ice form, because what's up ahead is kind of hilariously nasty. Uh, not this room, in particular, but especially. Ow. Um... Archery, not the, er, the sword, not the archery. Yeah, seriously, I mean, sword's super effective against the undead, but you're gonna shoot, stand there, shoot them with a bow. Brilliant. Lydia's not exactly the um, brightest vein in the uh, brightest house, Carl, in the in the hold. That's it. Not the brightest house, Carl, in the, in the hold. In here is a cell for some reason. Exactly sure what Lost Valkyrie is supposed to be, but there is a pick a pickpocket skill book in here, and a place to rest if you're playing with the sort of mod that requires you to rest. Nothing else in here, so your next stop is through this door and into the room of glorious death. Uh, this has is locked will not be locked for long, as in fact, as soon as I can find the correct spell. And open the lock, and jump. pressure plate. Because apparently I'm not immune to pressure plates, I'm just clumsy. Alright, well, don't stand in the... You know what, fine, never mind. However... Um, seriously? Um, right, let's get some Midas Meteor this time. Boom! Yeah, that's Death Lord. He's got an ebony bow, which is more than capable of one-shotting even a powerful warrior in vanilla. And we're playing with Coordinator and Wildcat, which make him excessively nasty. But again, it's a scoped bow, which I'm not sure why it is. However, it's entirely possible to miss the fact that there's a chest back here if you're not searching out the entire place. Yeah, this wasn't a stack of courage. I don't remember what it was. And there were not trolls being heavy gauntlets, even though they look like iron gauntlets for no particular reason. Right. So we'll step out of here and if. What's that? Oh, it's just a brazier. Um, however, if we drop down here. Um, actually, why are we doing it this way when we can simply drop zone? We, um, yeah, this is the area you would have finished the, I love that she teleported through the door. Uh, yeah, this is basically the area you would have finished that, dropped down here, and then been murdered by this death lord. Instead, we took him out first, so. And then from here, the very last thing to do is, well, end the episode but then also run back to Morthal. And that's where our next episode picks up, is at the Inn in Morthal. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.